we'll start out with your name and what you do in the band? Yeah, my name is Kenny, and I play guitar and I sing in the band. Um, how did personnel start out? We started out uh, basically with me and Ryan just writing songs together, um, playing in my basement. We've been friends since we were like 14, 15 years old. And I'd always called him up anytime I came home because I just always wanted to jam and me and him like the same kind of music. And we just uh, kept playing more and more music together and um, had the idea of making a record and came up with the personnel name. Asked Brian, the other drummer, if he would want to get involved and write some songs together as well because I knew that he could bring a new sort of different point of view to the to the to the band because the drummer makes it makes you know pretty much makes the song as far as I'm concerned. So I wanted to get you know almost like two different bands. Um, then I asked uh, Charles to start playing bass because I just you know I don't really trust anyone else with, with bass. And um, then uh, Brian Schmutz was in the band from starting line for a while, and then. Um, he had to leave pretty much just for financial reasons, and uh, then we got Nate, and now we're here. So how long have you, like the lineup now, been together? Um, we've been together since, I guess, uh, right before Bonnaroo, so since like April, maybe. How'd you come up with the name Personnel? Um, it was a mixture of the word Personnel. I, I kind of wanted to name my band Personnel, like the, the proper word. Um, because I, you know, pictured it being this like revolving kind of like uh, temporary musician, like just coming in and out kind of thing. Um, but also to kind of like relate to Kid A by Radiohead, like have a pronoun in a letter. So I just think that, that looks cool, and I love that record. So what would you be doing now if you weren't in a band? I don't know. I'd probably be uh, into electricity because my dad's an electrician and. Like, it's just the family business, so I would probably be looking into that stuff, but I don't think I'd have much fun in it. I, I like music a lot. Wait, so you like where you are right now? I love it, yeah. Um, what band or songwriter like inspired you when you were growing up? Um, Kurt Cobain was a big one. Like, when he died, it like really like hit me hard when I was a kid. It was like right around my birthday, and um, I just remember being like super bummed and my hair like him when I was a kid. And, um, I thought he was awesome. I, you know, I love Green Day. Um, I love Face to Face, The Save the Day, My Wagon, um, Blink 182. Um, but like early on, a lot of, a lot of like Dan Morrison and Creedence Clearwater Revival and um, you know, the Cars. Do you think that they have anything to do with like the music that you play? Yeah, I think they have everything to do with it. It's funny because the stuff that my dad listens to and I used to think was so terrible is now the stuff that like inspires me more than anything. It's kind of it's just funny how like when you get older you start like understanding why your parents listen to the music yeah. they did. <laughs> so tell us about your new album that was released in August. Um, it's called Initial. It came out August fifth, and um, we started recording it in. December of 06, so it's been a while in the making. Um, we did all the drums up at Traxxas East in New Jersey, which is where like Dillinger Escape Plan did Calculating Infinity and where Saves the Day did Through Being Cool. And um, we just really like the room up there and uh, the guy Eric that owns it is like just the most super nice guy. So we did the drums there and then uh, took the files home and did the rest of the music in my basement and in my bedroom. And then we had our friend John Kaplan mix the record. And then um, finally got it done earlier this year. How do you feel about it? I'm really happy with it. Um, I kind of wish it didn't take so long to do, because now the songs are like, you know, relatively old. Um, but I'm, I'm glad it came out the way it did. I'm glad we didn't sacrifice, uh, you know, trying to do, you know, the quality of the music to, for, to try to do it quickly. Yeah. Are you currently writing songs now? Yeah, we actually, we have like, Probably like seven or eight songs that are, that are written for the next record. If you could steal any song from any artist and make it your own, what song would you steal? Ooh. It's so hard. It's, there's so many amazing songs. And there's so many songs that I'm like super jealous of. Um, probably like There There by Radiohead is like, to me, like one of the most like perfect songs there is. But that's just me, yeah. If you're, do you think your band would agree with you? I don't know. They'd probably have have different songs. I'm sure that they'd be pumped if we had that song. Yeah. If we could trade that out with Radiohead for one of our songs. <laughs>
If your album could be the soundtrack to any movie, what movie would you pick? Um, our album or or yeah, our like music. Your music. Yeah. Your music. No. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not sure. What's your is favorite it, movie? My favorite movie is. Yeah, it's so hard to pick a favorite movie. <laughs> I, I, I've been watching a lot of the Last Waltz. It's just the it's like the band's last concert. It was uh, like Martin Scorsese directed, and it's just like it's just like the best like concert movie ever. I've been watching a lot of that. It's probably my favorite right now. Let's go with that. Okay, I'll say <laughs> I'll say that one. I try we try to model ourselves after that band because they were at it for like uh, 15 years, something like that, like doing it. I, it's insane. Um, you guys into band pranks? Um, not really. We never pranked a band before, officially. Have you got pranked? No. 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 We love everybody too much to prank, you know. We're just more just about like just uh, just dancing, you know. Dancing school. We come over and we, and we just dance, yeah. You know? so, so you could have a dance competition with another band. Which band would you pick? Um, I think, well, you know, Anthony's band has got the more, the more members, and Brendan I think would give me a run for my money, and Nick did like a five minute stall on a on a stool today, which is like four arms, and it was the sickest thing I've ever seen. So if he like tried to break it down for me. I think I would get served something fierce. What's your favorite song to play and why? Like, why? Um, Help Yourself, because uh, I get to, I, it's just like, got the, the like dark mellow stuff that I really like, and um, and also some like really grungy guitar that's not really that hard to, to play, like note wise, so I can kind of like rock out. It's just got the perfect mix of like vocals, no vocals, so I can actually like, breathe and, and enjoy like rocking out. And does like the fans react to that song? Um, sometimes. Um, how's the music scene back home in Pennsylvania? It's cool. It's uh, it's blossoming. So it's, it's you know from what it was like ten years ago. I think uh, there's like a new like young fresh kind of thing happening uh, in, in the Philadelphia area. But it's just like and there's just such great music coming out of there like the roots and. Dr. Dog and Spank Rock and that stuff is just like really great. I'm really proud of, of where we come from. What do you miss most when you're out on tour? Um, just the family and home and you know girlfriend stuff like that. What do you find yourself like eating the most of when you're out on tour? Taco Bell, because it's like everywhere and it's cheap. And you know there it is. It's, it's open good late. Stuff. Yeah, so it just <laughs> happens to work out. Um, as a band, where would you like to see yourselves like a year from now? Um, I'd like to see us just still, you know, doing these kind of these kind of tours. Actually, you know, if we're if we're still doing stuff like this a year from now, I'll be really happy. Oh, I'm Kenny from Personnel. Thanks for watching.